Hey everyone, it's Rachel Ost and welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me online, you'll probably notice that I moved house very recently and I filmed the process just to show you guys some of my favorite tips. First off, if you're an apartment dweller like I am, you probably have one of these tags to get into your apartment. So what I like to do to make the moving process easier is grab a hairband and knot that through the tag. Then I can wear it around my wrist and it's super easy to scan in and out. Next, write a list of all the places that you're going to need to change the address of. So this can include your bank, internet, phone, health insurance, electoral commission, the post office, your driver's license, your accountant, doctor, dentist, gym, university, optometrist, Medicare, and of course your contents insurance. I used to work in insurance, so I'll tell you guys, for your contents insurance, they're probably covered in transit. Call your insurance company and check that they are. About a week before you move, depending on your family size, I guess, stop buying groceries and just live off what you have. It'll mean there's less to move. Pack an overnight bag before the day that you're planning on moving. So this can include pajamas, some spare clothes, some shoes that you can beat up, two or three pairs of socks. Also going to bring some garbage bags just in case. Any supplements or medications. Body care products. I've been obsessed with these body brushes lately. Then I'm taking a little toiletries bag as well. Dry shampoo because who wants to wash their hair when they first move in? Some deodorant, a toothbrush and a hairbrush. Those sorts of things usually come in pretty handy. Some soap and your skincare. Just in case, I do like to take a power board and a towel. Before you start packing, start gathering packing supplies like these. These are from deliveries that got dropped off at my house, so I just kept them because I knew I would be packing soon. So things like bubble wrap, papers, if your friends have them from any deliveries they've gotten, grab them off them. Same goes for boxes. Uh, the more boxes you can get, the better. First, I would recommend packing in any bags you have and then moving on to the boxes if you have to. Label your boxes, not just with the room, but also what is going in them. If you have any items already stored in small storage boxes like these ones, just tape them shut and you can move them. I also have kitchen containers like these ones for dry goods, so I like to just tape them shut as well. For things like sauces, shampoos, conditioners, anything that might leak or bust, take a small piece of plastic, place it over the top and then put the lid on because it is far less likely to come open. To make sure your fragile powders don't break, take some cotton rounds and place them in the powders. This is also great if you're traveling. If there's any of these that you didn't know or you didn't do already, leave me a comment and let me know which one. Now I like to use up all of my towels on plates and any crockery kitchen items if I can to save myself from using any bubble wrap or paper. So I don't layer between every plate, just every couple of plates. And if you can, stack your plates vertically because they are less likely to break that way. Now personally, all of my clothes and shoes, they just fit into one box, but I had to pack up Bo's clothing and if you're someone like him who has lots of clothes on hangers, a really easy tip is to take a large garbage bag and use that to pull it shut and you can take off many items at once. This is also a good time to do a cull of your wardrobe and if you have any vacuum bags, use those as well to transport your clothes. One final little tip, the very first trip you make to your new place when you can, take some toilet paper with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I do two uploads a week and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.